There are so many things to talk about, but perhaps the most important is location. Church Road is one of the first colonial roads named after Sherman's first church. Other main roads were built later, leaving this a seldom traveled back road. The land stretches on both sides of the road, but the bulk, 50 acres, is on the east side with the Nairobi Brook running through the middle. An 80-year-old photo shows it as all pasture land, but now woods have claimed all but 20 acres. One of the great surprises is the hidden swimming hole in the middle of the property. The other great thing about the property is that it's surrounded on all sides by land trust holdings. Rarely will you find such a well-protected property. The 1779 Pickett House has lots of original details. The keeping room fireplace is four feet wide and flanked by the beehive bacon oven. It's part of a large dining room, family room, with wide board floors. The kitchen is new, has tile floors, updated appliances, and windows on two sides that give views to the gardens and distant mature trees. The spacious living room is almost square, with detailed moldings around the doors. The master suite was once the finished fancy parlor where the early family used to entertain their best guests. With beautiful wide board floors and moldings, it has windows on two sides and French doors on the third side, opening to a private deck. On the south side of the living room is a study with windows opening onto the porch and views of the front lawn. Its original floorboards are beautiful. Up on the second floor, there are three bedrooms and a shared tile bath. One of the bedrooms has a fireplace and beautiful original wide board floors. Another bedroom is long and narrow and also has beautiful floorboards with five thermopane eyebrow windows looking out to the street. The third bedroom has new oak floors and two south facing windows. In addition to the house, there is a new three level, four bay garage that replaced an old storage building in the year 2000. It now has lots of additional workspace and storage space. There is also an old corn crib, now called the Red Study, that was used as a writer's studio.